Ah, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brandman Sean, and today we're going over five reasons to release an entire project. And this one will touch on a few things that you probably never heard of when it comes to releasing a project. Number one, quality control. You can make sure every single track is perfect, dot your I's, cross your T's, and then create a sonic experience relating each track to the other like you don't have the opportunity to do if you just released one song. So you're controlling the entire presentation to the world, which leads right into number two, image control. You can make sure that everything coordinates. You can take the time and go deep on creating an aesthetic that goes along with that story or experience for that project. Check out this example of Anderson Pat. This man has these great beautiful images and you scroll, you scroll and each image goes right into the next. One of the few people I've seen do that and it's just a great aesthetic and image control. And then Black, if you look at Black, I heard Black like four years ago and I would listen to his track like all the time. Um, he actually sampled it pretty well there on his new um, album. And ever since I have been following him, He's been creating this aesthetic, this black and white aesthetic. You can not only do it for your image as an artist, but you can do it for your image as a project. Number three, this is huge. It's what I call the Netflix effect. Today, the way people consume content is they binge. Most people binge. I mentioned Black earlier when he first came out with his project. I was excited. However, I didn't listen to it right away. When I finally got time to listen to it, I listen to all of it at once, right? And matter of fact, I did it once or twice. So a big thing about this when you have a project is when people come to your music, think about the fact that everybody has all these distractions. Mom, brother, brother, sister, dad, family, bills, work, uh, the stuff they want to do. All that stuff is a distraction. So people are competing for people's attention. A single song could be a one-off, but an entire project, particularly if people like it, you get their attention for a long time and you make a deeper connection, which leads to number four, project referrals. Imagine this scenario right quick. You have a song out, it's a single, and people say, hey, go listen to this song. That's cool and all. People might even love it. Scenario two, you listen to this project and you say, oh man, yo man, you gotta check this out. This project is dope. You tell your homeboy, the homeboy listens to the entire project, which is five to 10 songs. And when that friend decides they like it, they tell somebody else about that project, which is five to 10 songs. So if you position your project correctly, people will be sharing five to 10 songs at a time of yours, as opposed to just one song at a time. But let's get a little bit deeper. Check out this. It's her volume one. If you haven't heard this project, it's super dope. When you go on YouTube, now this is why YouTube's so amazing. You go on YouTube, you listen to this one track on the song, Focus, and then bam, now you get an automatic project referral because when you click on the song, you're gonna see that there's other songs on the side. You don't even know that it's a project, but you hear that one song and then you say, oh snap, there's five more tracks to this. And if you decided that you like the first song, then you want to hear the rest of the songs. So now not only do you get the benefit of word to mouth referral, YouTube's algorithm is basically set up to create and facilitate its own word of mouth by just putting things like minded next to each other. Companies pay so much money for shit like this. This ad, this is one big ad. This entire album is taking up the entire page at this point. Even me, I took this picture right here when I only had like eight or nine videos. That's how long ago I actually thought about doing this video right here. It's showing all my stuff on the side without having to do anything. But number five, leave them wanting more. First of all, you always want to leave when people want to hear more of you. So you don't want to have a project too long where people are like, dang, that was like four or five songs too long. I wish it just stopped at, at number eight. But on top of that, when people hear a project, they get opportunity to connect with you and there's a sense of finality to a project, right? When it's finished and if people are really rocking with it, they're like, dang, I hate that this is over. I need to hear more, give me some more. But if it's a song, people don't really have that chance to really connect with you as they would over a full project that they're really liking because you get to immerse them in a whole world of yours and then when the project's over, they come back out. They're like, dang, I can't wait till they come out with their next project or I can't wait till they go on tour if people are really, 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 really rocking with your project. So that's about it. I'll do some more music release strategies in the future of some kind of mine. Um, I already did that other one on high volume music release strategies. Other than that, be cool, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Bye.